Welcome to Tax3.today. I'm Christoph and today I will tell you about your best opportunities to optimize your taxes as a digital nomad in the EU. As a digital nomad, you're probably mobile, you're flexible, you can live everywhere. And even if you want to travel around the world, maybe you want some quiet time where you really work. So it's pretty easy to just get residence in a EU country. Like I said in other articles, you just have to prove that you have a flat, uh, if we either rent it or buy it all year. And you have to have this flat and have wallet health insurance. It's pretty easy as a EU citizen to register in any EU country. If you're not a EU citizen, I know I have Canadian, Australian, US readers. Of course, you can still do that, but it might be more difficult. For example, for permanent residents in most European countries, a so-called golden visa, you have to invest in real estate and that starts with sums from 200,000 but goes up in certain countries up to 500,000 or even a million. If you don't have that money, you can still come to live in the EU, uh, even for all the year, but you have to um, be okay with a temporary visa. Temporary visa means you really have to live in a country where you get a visa. For example, it's quite easy in Slovenia or Lithuania. Um, you have to live in there half a year, but the other half year you're flexible to travel outside and stay in other EU countries as well. Of course, um, I think most of you are EU citizens and you're interested which EU country is the best. Of course, there are 28 EU countries. There are some other countries in Europe which don't belong to the EU and they provide ample opportunities as well. Normally, if you want to optimize your taxes in the EU, you should just move to a country with either non-domiciled taxation, with special programs like Cyprus or Portugal have, or with a country with residence taxation which tax you on your worldwide income, but not that much than in other countries. For example, a lot of people decide to go to Bulgaria because in Bulgaria they pay a flat tax of 10%, which is tax, but which is pretty low tax compared to other subjects. In the below article, I mainly speak about opportunities in Eastern Europe, where you still pay a little bit tax. For example, in Bulgaria you pay 10%. In Romania, with a company you pay just 3% up to a revenue of 500,000. In Hungary you pay 9%. 9%. In Lithuania you pay just 5% up to a revenue of 300,000. In Estonia you have to retain taxation of 20% only on distributed dividends. And there are of course a lot of other options you find in the below article. Um, you can also go to Cyprus, which is basically tax-free, just pay a little social security. You have the non-domicile states of Malta, UK and Ireland, uh, where I just made a video uh, in another article. So basically you have a lot of options in Europe, you just have to use them. You don't really need to live in your home country. What you can do is just get a flat or buy a house in country with good taxes. Uh, just stay there, maybe one to three months, and then you're free to live in most other EU countries as well, even up to half a year, because after half a year in most EU countries you get liable to tax there. So for example, you could get residence in Cyprus. Cyprus has a minimum stay of two months. You live two months in Cyprus, preferably in the winter when it's still a good climate in Cyprus. And then the uh, other 10 months of the year, for example, you can live up to five months in your home country. And the other five months you can travel freely around the world. And in Cyprus, you can basically be tax-free. Cyprus doesn't tax you on your dividends, on the interest, on your capital gains, just on your income. But if you make it right, you just have a company, pay yourself out a little salary, which amounts to the tax-free income in Cyprus, that's 20,000. Uh, 9,500 and the rest you get in dividends completely tax-free. The only thing you basically pay in Cyprus is social security but you have to say that Cyprus has the best social security system in Europe with the highest benefits once you really turn ill or can't work anymore. So Cyprus is the place to be and I will make another article about it but if you're interested in the nice opportunities Cyprus provides just shout me an email, book a consulting call I'm happy to tell you about it. Of course, you can combine certain EU countries, like in most uh, Eastern European countries, you don't have CFC rules. So you can just um, have your residence there, but your company somewhere else. Like you can live in Bulgaria, but still have your country in like Cyprus or in Dubai or in other countries. So basically what you need to consider is you should leave high tax countries with very high taxes 
on very um, sharp CFC, CFC rules, so you can't even have a foreign company there. Rather get your residency in some Eastern European or Southern European country with low or no taxes, uh, where you can use uh, worldwide companies freely, and you are not bound, uh, of course, to live in those countries for maybe half a year because as a digital nomad you maybe want to travel. There's also a thing to consider, in some countries they really say you have to live here half a year, but in most countries it's less, it's around two months. In some countries even you're free to leave whenever you want, if you can show that you have a flat there which you regularly use. That uh, so far for this video. I hope you like this little introduction, you find more info below, and I'm happy to hear from you in a consulting call or on any other ways.